So here we go, this is going to be over six rounds. Well, the pair have been going straight to work at this point. Koji yeah, certainly not letting Maka off the hook, letting him know what it's all about here in the uh, professional world. So good pressure at the moment coming from Koji. Yeah. keeping himself uh, very well controlled in the middle of the ring, taking his time, trying to work out Cotier. But a great deal of experience from Cotier. 51 fights, not a great winning record, but nevertheless he's in there, applying his trade. Good shots coming in now from Danny Macker from Jersey. Got a big height advantage here as well. He's six foot half inch compared to five foot seven and a half of Cotier. Well, that was a good start there. Good start there by uh, both of these guys. A difficult one to score. I think the better work or the busier work was actually done by Cotier. Macca's looking to actually. Uh, to get himself started. So I'm actually going to put that down as a, an even round, actually. Cotia was certainly uh, busier, but some, some of the more solid shots came through from Danny Macca. I think one may well balance against the other. I don't like to give even rounds. You always look to see whether you can uh, see the winner in a round. But that was that was a close opening round. Here we go, round two. Let's see whether Danny Macca can now start putting it round together. Danny Macca, as you can see, South Paul. But you are dealing with it very well at the moment. And still, I think, just slightly the busier fighter, but possibly the better shots coming in from Danny Macca. All good shot. Good combination, following it up. These are definitely better shots coming in from Danny Macca at the moment. That are certainly the more telling shots. But Cotier's not going to back off. He's going to make him work tonight. He's working away with that jab. Cotier trying to get underneath that longer reach and keeping busy. He's pushing him into the corner. Certainly Danny Mack are not finding this easy. A lot of experience, remember, from Cotier. Hey, 
Working well to the body, looking for the gaps and finding them. Bringing up that right uppercut as well in the middle of the ring. Well, again, that was a good that was a good round, but I'm I'm going to give that one I'm going to give that one to Danny Macker. Certainly the, the harder shots, the more accurate shots coming in from him. But I can't take anything away from Kochi at the moment. He's certainly keeping busy out there. As I said, Danny Mack is certainly starting late in the professional uh, boxing scene at 28 years of age. This just being his second fight. He won his first fight. He's uh, trained by Jim Evans, who you can see in his corner at the moment. A man with uh, a huge amount of experience. Here we go, round three. And again, Kochia coming straight out to the middle of the ring wants to force this issue. Good jabs now. Working hard with his jabs. Come on to the orthodox style. Actually, he's not going to give up, though. He's not going to make this an easy night for Danny Macca, that's for sure. Very, very low guard there, Cotier. Left arm down low. He's going to have to be careful. Giving the reach advantage that Danny Macker has. He really should be keeping a tight defence at the moment. to hand this to Kotia, he's really not giving an inch he, he's really pushing here and, and making Dana, Danny Mac Macca work for this uh, second bout of his professional career good experience for him Shots coming in from Danny Macker at close quarters there. Still getting his shots off. Again, I think that was a hard, a hard round to score. I think possibly... Um, I think possibly uh, Danny Macker may have edged that round, but it's a close call, that's for sure, because Cotty has really keeping busy out there and making him work hard. Ten seconds. Seconds out, round four. Here we go, round four. And again, Cotillo straight out to the middle of the ring, wants to force the issue. I mean, with this height advantage, you, I would like to have seen Danny Macker on that jab, keeping him at arm's length. He's not making uh, full advantage of that reach. Having said that, he's still bringing up some good shots to the inside, even when they are at close quarters. Cotillo is still adopting this uh, low guard.
You really should be moving away from this, keeping him at arm's length. You can use that reach and jab. So he's making hard work here, but at the end of the day, this is just his second professional fight. The better work here coming from Danny Macker in this round. I think that's clear at this point. Working well to the body, he's throwing that hook into the ribs of Danny Cotier. Round's got to go to Danny Macca. A little better work coming from him. I've got Danny Macca three rounds ahead at this point. So really, if Cotillo wants to do something about it, now's his uh, time. He's got to really go out and put the pressure on. And... Uh, as my scorecard is concerned, he's going to need a stoppage. I don't see that coming. But who knows? This is boxing. Ten seconds. I'm sure Jim Evans is telling him more of the same. Seconds out. Round five. Here we go, round five. Let's see whether Cotier is going to step up the pace here, really put the pressure on. Macca walks straight into a jab there. Really got no need to mix this up in the inside. Macca, he's got such a good reach advantage, he should be working on the outside, but he's, he's standing there toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and the one thing that Cotier has got is the desire to just keep putting that pressure on. Trying his overhand right there. I think Cotier knows he's got to do something. He's got to connect here. When he, does, when he does back up Cotillo to the ropes, Danny Macca certainly comes through with the, the scoring shots. And I think these are the telling shots as far as the referee will be concerned when he comes to his judgment at the end of this. A good body shot again. Cotillo driving forward. a little bit scrappy now. Good inside work again. I am surprised at the delivery of the inside work from Danny Macker given the, the height difference here but he certainly is finding the target in the body area. Okay and again I think the Certainly the second part of that round, the better work again coming from uh, Danny Macca. So it's all for Cotier to do in this last round as far as I'm concerned. And I'm sure they'll be best of friends at the end of it. Some heavyweight action coming up for you, two heavyweights coming up after this light middleweight competition. So stick with us. The main event this evening is Michael Sprott against Zach Page from the USA. That 
Former seems to be uh, six, quite a fight. Round. Here we go, sixth round. Sixth and last round. Cotier's going to really have to go for this now. He knows that the only way he's going to get a decision is on the stoppage. I'm not sure he's got that ability. Hey! But he's going to put the effort in, as he always does. It's been a, a great experience for Danny Maca this because Kochi has really kept the pressure on throughout the six rounds and he, he's made Danny Maca work for it tonight, that's for sure. It's a great experience given this is just his second professional bout. So again, he's backing Koji up against the ropes, looking for the big shots. And there we are, best of mates, as I said. Danny Macca gets the decision. <laughs>